Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can make uh, the time UI and zombie kill count UI. In previous tutorial, I show you how you can uh, simply make a zombie game logic. So if we go to the WBP widget blueprint folder, we have three widget blueprint: crosshair, game over, and heart. So we need a, a create to uh, gameplay uh, WBP gameplay widget where we can store our count uh, time seconds and also health so we ha use our crosshair inside our uh, uh, player blueprint so select the crosshair or any other blueprint duplicate it and uh, i name it uh, wbp gameplay so we have only one gameplay you can search anything if you lost by the way save everything now open the gameplay. We don't need the crosshair image, just delete it. Now from the palette, I just add two text. One is right and one is left. But both of their anchor point is on the left. So I show you something. Select the text and name it time and make it size uh, size to content make it here but its anchor point is here and its anchor point is also left by default so if we play we see nothing because we don't you add the gameplay ui so we need to add it somewhere i want to add it in the level blueprint so add even begin play and from here create widget add to viewport and widget should be gameplay add to viewport compile and save now if we play we can see text and time but if we uh, Minimize it, we cannot see the time. Maximize, we can see the time. Let's see it again. Uh, play the game, we can see time in the right when it's maximized, but when, it, when we minimize it, we cannot see it. So change the anchor point to the right and the left and text anchor point fine. So if we play now, we can see the text. We minimize, we can see the text. So that's the anchor point do. So please use it if you see any f uh, problem in the UI. So on the time uh, uh, left text I add count and it should be I use also size to content make it in here. So I just add an image uh, the color I want to add uh, darker color so we can see the white text so the background cover the account so i made the background in back and i just organize it so we can add text here also it show us number I name the busy background one. I name it. I just duplicate it. So I add two text also, two more text. It show just show the number. I just give it uh, zero. Later we add a code in here. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you write it, it show that code. So try another text. I also add it zero zero in here. It also doesn't matter because we also add code in here. So go to the graph. I uh, add two variables second and minute both should be float type 
in previous tutorial i show you how to make uh, minute seconds using the event tip delay one second and then after that uh, add one this is how but there is also simple way so uh, previously we had a delay give one second and after one second uh, we add the second as a set and then get it as a get and add one so once after one second it add the value one so this is how we count the uh, minute second also but there is many other way the perfect way so delete the minute we just use the second add the second as a set add the second as a get now add a plus and the plus should be get to world uh, delta second and add uh, the output value to the seconds in set now create a binding select in the minute second text and i name the binding to time if you press f2 you can rename it or right button rename and then drag uh, the seconds as a get and search get uh, time second to string search it time seconds to string add the string to the text now with just one word now uh, if we play the game we can see the microsecond second and minute now you can see it our second is counting so we are done here now we add uh, the count uh, coding so in zombie when the zombie die we can add one so every zombie die add one so it show us how many zombie we kill so in the game mode i think it's better to add it in game mode i add a uh, variable called integer i name it count zombie count or zombie death count whatever you prefer Set zombie count. Create zombie count. We are adding it uh, in the zombie master before the zombie die in custom event zombie death. So get as a get and plus one and add it with the set. So every time zombie die, there is one which add. Compile and save. Now we need to add few codes in here, select the count, add a binding. So we copy the zombie count, zombie game mode and get game mode. Ctrl C and Ctrl V in here. Add with the get, get text and add with the return value. It is automatically convert the integer compile and save so if we play and the zombie is coming we kill the zombie there is a count one there is a count five and how many zombie we, we will kill it will show the counting total we kill 36 if we kill more there will be show more number and there we can see the second also So uh, later we will add a high score also then we will see the progress how many zombies we kill. So this is for today's tutorial uh, bye bye everybody.